From the hot night at Daytona to the hot day here at Homestead, we welcome you to the Ocean Shores 400, the final race of season number three. This, Taylor, is a big day of racing. We've waited for this all season. And if I may, I would like to break the fourth corner, if I may. We've waited over a year for this moment right here at Homestead. What an event indeed, Billy. I mean, put it this way. We have someone right here who won last season this race right here, Timmy Turner, inside of a spot to possibly win a championship. He got his first career main league series win last season at the finale at Homestead in this very race. It was just a sign of things to come. All Timmy has got to do in order to win this title is he just needs to get any bit of points he possibly can. Rather it be 10, rather it be 20, he just needs to finish inside of the top 10 and he is good to win the championship. Brad needs Timmy to get zero points and he also needs a win. We've been talking about it all season, Taylor. Brad needs a win. Well, folks, he absolutely 100% does right now. Taylor, this is also the final race of Gen 1. It will be exciting to see how this generation of Nicktoons Racing League ends here today. As enough chit chat, let's get to the ones to watch. I'll just start right away. You just mentioned that he won the Ocean Shores 400 in season number two. He also won the showdown earlier this season and he's won two other races. Timmy Toyota is a force to be reckoned with and I feel like he's gonna clinch this title and he's gonna do it in style with a win here today. I absolutely 100% agree with you, Taylor. It seems like he will be the one to beat this afternoon. Well, personally, I think Mr. Krabs could do it here today, too. He did get very close to winning last race in the Goofy Goober 300. It's been quite a little bit since the last Mr. Krabs-related victory. We'll see if the former holder of the most wins of all time gets his break here today and wins this race. Drivers, stop your engines! As the command has just been issued, and we will be rolling off a of pit road here, all 14 cars in this event. We will be going 20 laps here around Homestead Miami Speedway. Man, looks like we got some issues for a looks like the 20 car of SpongeBob SquarePants. Man, his lows this season continues. I think we're gonna be going green regardless though, as we only have one car. I think it's the pole sitter, Tuck Carbuncle on the inside, as we are gonna be going green flag racing. As here we go, it's time to go crazy here from Miami. The green flag is down, we're racing! Whoa, big run on the inside! Ooh, massive contact too, between the one car of All Rock and the three car of Tommy Pickles. As they come across into turn number three and four. Three wide back there, deep in the field. It's stretch. Oh, there it is! The seven car of Brad Carbuncle. Oh, he saved it! Oh, and caution will still be out on the racetrack, though. As it looks like it's going to be a waste back to the line, I think it's going to be the 32 car of Mr. Krabs leading it. Tommy's back there as well. He's going to be in second, I believe. And Mr. Krabs will race back to the line. Let's go and see what happened with the seven car of Brad Carbuncle to bring out this caution. 
I think he just comes up the racetrack just a little bit, Taylor. Gets into the 24 car of Patrick Starr. And just hits the wall along with Sheldon Lee inside the 22. I'm surprised that brought out a caution, though. And yeah, there it is. There's a flagman right there. Get ring out the caution flag. Yeah, and he saved it, and he kept it, he kept it off the wall, it seemed like, for the most part. After quite possibly the weirdest caution in NRL history, we will be going green flag racing here at Homestead in a few laps. Alright, so it looks like we have a lap car. We have the uh, SpongeBob SquarePants inside the inside, the 20 car. Man, his lows just continue, don't they? They just continue and continue. He's going to be so happy once the season's over. He's going to be so happy. They're going to go and regroup in the off season. They're going to try and work on that 20 car. He really, really needs it. Yeah, his highest finish, I believe, is 8th. I believe that is his highest finish. As no matter, we will be going green flag racing here on lap 7. Mr. Krabs, Tommy, and Auto Rocket, your top three heading to the green. And the green flag is back out here, Homestead. Tommy Pickles takes away that lead spot. Mr. Crash trying to look for that inside. Doesn't have it, though. Also saw um, former champion Carl Weezer inside the 39 look for that second spot as well. Rewide back there between three air drivers. Tuck, Sammy, and a... And someone else. Oh, oh, oh. One of them hit the wall there. Oh, multiple cars hit the wall. Oh, there it is. Oh, hard hit for multiple drivers. As the caution is out. And it's going to be Tommy Pickles leading them to the caution flag. As man, oh man, the wreck fest continues here at Homestead. Let's go and take a look back and see what happened with all these cars hitting the wall. Yeah, it started with uh, Patrick Starr inside the 24. And then it followed with Brad Carbungle and Tuck Carbungle, both of the Carbungle brothers, just slamming the wall there. And a little bit up, we can see more. A little bit up, I believe it's... AJ and Twister Rodriguez that get into the scuffle that actually brings out the caution. As you just see them skidding across the wall. I think they hit the wall right here. And that's what causes them to spin out. Just a hard hit here for Tuck Carbuncle in Sudden 95. Hitting right in the rear fender. Oh. Of Twister. Let's ride around with Twister. Yeah, it looks like AJ just went up. Looks like AJ just went up a little bit of a- Oh! Rookie mistake there. <laughs> it's a violent hit. Sammy's on pit road, looks like. Must be some sort of issues for Sam Dullard inside 12. Never mind, we're going green. Going green on lap 13. Tommy, Carl, and Otto, your top three. Green flag is out and we're racing again. A huge jump for Tommy Pickles inside the three car. As Carl Weezer going to try and chase him down. Doesn't look like he's going to have enough leg though. Going to just have to wait and see here. Timmy Turner having a great day here at Homestead. Currently fourth. 
and we'll see what happens he seems like he's gonna clinch at that very position he will clinch the tile and he will win at that very position you just need to stay there meanwhile though Carl Weezer trying to chase down the three car trying to he only has a few more laps to do it it seems like he has a lot but it's homestead it's not much Especially with how little you gain on this racetrack. Oh, here we go. Here comes Carl Weezer right to that back bumper. He's going to try to see if he can look to that back bumper here in the next few laps. Ooh, some contact between the 1 and, and 10. Man, the 1 and 10. Maybe a little bit of rivals here. That might be a little bit of a love tap from Daytona. We'll have to wait and see, though. <laughs> Tempers are flaring and brewing here in Florida. Just like the weather. <laughs> Carl trying to look on that back bumper. He's right there. He just needs a little bit of draft. Oh, here we go. Carl Weezer to the inside. Ooh, ooh, gonna fight back on the outside. No, I think I think Carl Weezer broke broke a little bit. Broke out of that corner near core exit. But now he's gonna clear the three car. And Carl Weezer is your leader. Ooh, Timmy Turner nearly gets sideswiped by the three car of Tommy Pickles. As we only have a few more laps around. In season number three. Carl Weezer, your current leader inside the 39. Tommy Pickles trying to chase him down. Trying to get his first career main league win. Here today. Oh, when Tommy wants it bad, he's had a he's had a very rough season. Very rough first season after doing so well inside the rookie cup. As we're going to be coming around to two more times around. Carl Weezer leads it. We have two to go at the line. Now look out for Timmy Turner. Timmy Turner could be a factor here. He's looking to win a championship, but I think he wants to do a little bit more than that today. <laughs> we'll see what happens down the back stretch. Timmy Turner looking to the back bumper of Tommy Pickles. He's going to try and do something here in this corner, I feel like. Ooh, looks to the inside. Doesn't have enough, though. The three car is there. As here we go. It's the white flag lap. One more time around for season number three. White flag is out. One more time around. Sponsored by the Tuckropolis Discord. Carl Weezer sails away from Tommy Pickles. Timmy Turner passing Tommy Pickles for second position. Timmy Turner will hold on to second position. He will win the Nicktoons Racing League Championship. But it's going to be Carl Weezer coming off of turn number four. And he will win the Ocean Shores 400. Carl Weezer wins it here at Homestead. And if mathematics didn't fail us, Timmy Turner is your Season 3 Nicktoons Racing League Champion. That is awesome for Timmy Turner. That is incredible. Look at how much of a storybook finish that is for both of those rookies, though. Think about it. You had Timmy Turner... And Carl Weezer doing stuff. Carl Weezer hasn't done anything this season. Anything. Much like Timmy Turner last season, Taylor. <laughs> and he comes in and wins the final race of season number three. You can't write that. As here are your race results for today's Ocean Shores 400. Carl Weezer is first. He will win his third career race. Second. 
Timmy Turner. We'll get to Timmy Turner here in a moment. Third is Tommy Pickles. Fourth, Jenny Wakeman. Fifth, AJ. Sixth, Otto Rocket. Seventh, Patrick Starr. Eighth, Sheldon Lee. Ninth, Mr. Krabs. Tenth, Twister Rodriguez. Eleventh, Brad Carbuncle. I mean, look at Brad Carbuncle. I cannot believe that, Taylor. I mean, he has finished outside of the top ten two consecutive races. I don't even think he's ever done that in his career. I could be completely wrong, but I don't think he's ever done that in the history of his career. Twelfth, Tuck Carbuncle. Thirteenth, SpongeBob SquarePants. He was a lap down. And Sam Dullard who had a tire issue. Oh, I get it. So it was a tire issue. That's why he went on to pit road during the restart. So that's where he finished. He finished in 14th. Billy, if you told me a few months ago that Timmy Turner would walk away a Nicktoons Racing League champion after this season, I would have not believed you. This kid is something else. This kid is Hall of Fame worthy. This kid is amazing. Not only did he get two wins here, Taylor, but it was at two completely different racetracks. And he's shown us that he has talent at every cornerstone of racing in this series. His first race was the Rookie Clash. He won the Rookie Clash. His second win was the Ocean Shores 400 in season number two. His third, beating Twister Rodriguez at Charlotte to win the Mesbers 350 earlier this season, his fourth with the Gen 2 showdown, and his record-breaking fifth career win at the Shore Shack 500. Taylor, what more can I really say about this kid that hasn't been said already? What an absolute incredible season it was for Timmy Turner. I mean, how about this, Billy Bob? Look at who's in second right now. Auto Rocket sneaks into second position. The reason why he's in second, folks, is because he has a win this season. Of course, we all know he won the last race. Taylor, I think that's even more unbelievable. I don't think Brad has ever finished a season in third. I think he's always been the runner-up in each and every single season we have done so far. Timmy Turner wins his first career championship in the Nicktoons Racing League as he is your champion here in season number three. You guys have been awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Taylor. It has been a pleasure and a privilege. What a season, folks. And we hope to see you again for season number four. What new things lie on the horizon, Billy? I mean, I don't know, Taylor, but... I'm sure we're going to find out here in the next few months. As ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you again in season number four. Take care, everyone.